Hello everyone, welcome to TradeC Accounting Software. Today I am going to show you how to maintain batch wise stock in TradeC Accounting Software. So let's get started. Click on the GST TradeC icon that has appeared on the desktop. This is the login window. From here, you select your company name, then enter your username and password. Then click on OK. This is the TradeC window. So for creating a batch, you have to first enable batch and expiry date. For that, you have to click on utilities, options, or can press directly the short key F6. Then click on advanced settings and enable batch and expiry date. Then click on OK. We are having two methods to create a batch. First one is to create batch from the opening stock entry. Second one is to create batch while purchasing. So let's move on to the first method. We will create a batch for a particular product. For that, you have to create a product. Click on product. The product master window is opened. Let me create a product name Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Second is to enter the product code say SGN 10 P12. Then enter the barcode and EAN code if available. Next is product group. This product comes under mobiles. So add this product group by clicking on yes. Then company name Samsung. Then add category 12 GB RAM. Click on yes and subcategory 256 GB storage. Enter the adjacent code. If you want to describe your product, enter in description column. The unit of this product is number. This product comes under the product type goods. Then select the tax percentage from the IGST. Then the corresponding CGST and SGST will split automatically. If you have the CES percentage or additional CES amount, you can enter it or else leave it as blank. Next is the landing cost. Purchasing cost is the landing cost. You can enter your selling price in GST inclusive rate. That is 50,000. Then automatically the margin percentage, margin amount and GST exclusive rate will be calculated. Then enter the MRP of the product. If you are having stock available of this product, click on opening stock entry, click on yes. From this window, you can create the batches. Expiry date and pack date is not mandatory. If your company is coming in the field of medicines and food processing business, you will have to maintain stock manufacturing and expiry date. Enter the batch number. If you want to add any extra specification of the product, you can enter in extra 1 and extra 2. Here, I would like to give color of the product in extra 1, that is aura white. Then enter the quantity, landing price, selling price and MRP. Then click on add. In the same way, you can add batches with different selling rate. Let me create the second batch. I have created both the batches of this product and save it. Now click on save. The product is saved. 
Now let's move on to the second method that is creating batch while purchasing. Click on transaction then purchase or press the short key F3. Purchase series option is opened. Click on default to enter purchase invoice. The purchase voucher is opened. Here enter the invoice number, invoice date, vendor name, then select the product from the list which you are going to purchase. On clicking the product, there will be a window opened to create batches. If you want to maintain separate stock for this new batch, click on the first option. If you don't want to maintain stock, then click on the second option. If you don't want to create batches, press escape key. Let me create a batch to maintain separate stock. Here you can enter the batch number. If expiry date and pack date is available, you can enter it or else leave it as blank. Enter the specification in the extra 1 and extra 2 column. That is, color of the product, say, or a black. Enter the landing cost, GST, inclusive rate, and MRP. Then click on save. Then enter the remaining products to purchase. After entering the products, click on save. The purchase is saved. Now I am going to sell the product having batches. For that, click on transaction, sales or press short key F4. The bill series window is opened. Click on default option to enter the bill. The sale window is opened. Enter the customer name, the employee of your shop who is entering the bill. Start entering the products from the list. Now I will select the batch of this product. Enter the quantity, rate, then click on add. If the product is expired, the warning window will be opened. That is, the product is expired on so and so date. So we cannot enter the expired items. Now start entering the other products which is not expired. If we select a particular item from the grid, Batch number, expiry date, manufacturing date, specification, every information will be shown in the bottom part of the window. Now after entering the products, click on save. Then print the bill. This is the A4 size printing format. Now let's move on to the inventory report options. We are having sale report, then purchase report. Let's see the stock register batch wise. If you want to see all products, then select the all option and click on view. If you want to see a particular product, Select the product wise option, then enter the product name and code, then click on view. The batch wise report is opened. Here you can see the batch, expiry date, landing cost and the stock available. Also you can see the product expiry report from a particular vendor. 
which you have purchased. Select the date range. Select vendor. Then product name, company, category. Then click on view. The product expiry report window is opened. There is also other report options that is product expiry report quick view. This report shows the product which are going to be expired within a particular day. Let's enter the days that is 30. Then click on view. The list of products which will be expiring within 30 days will be shown here. If you want to load this report while opening the trade EC, select the load this report on startup. So this was the video for organizing batches in trade EC accounting software. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.